Hi everyone, it's Ellie. So today I'm back for a new video for a little update. So I've got lots to tell you about, so let's just get started. The first book I wanted to tell you about is In a Dark Dark Wood by Ruth Ware. So I had heard about this um, author and I really wanted to uh, pick this book uh, because um, if you've been watching my channel for a while now, you know that I've been trying to read a little bit more thrillers this year because it's not uh, my favourite genre, it's not something that I read a lot and so I've been trying to be a bit better and read a bit more of that. And um, basically I picked that one up thinking it was going to be great and I was a bit disappointed. Oh, I was really disappointed. <laughs> anyway, so um, the story is about Nora, so she's a, a crime writer and um, she is... Uh, living I think in London or in a big city anyway and um, on her own and she doesn't have a lot of friends she's a bit solitary and uh, this um, this day she gets an email from um, someone one of her former friend um, who is inviting her to a um, pre-wedding party don't know how you call them again can't remember and so basically she's a bit surprised because she hasn't seen that friend for many many years for 10 years and they didn't really live on good terms or you don't really know because that's what um, is said at that time in the book and so you're wondering oh you know like what's going on and why would someone such a you know like an old friend ask you to come at this you know like wedding that you haven't seen in such a long time and so Nora decides to go it's for a weekend and it's in the countryside somewhere in the middle of nowhere and um, there are not a lot of people invited either, so that's what makes it a bit strange. Anyway, so she decides to go and um, something happens and Nora, at the end of the weekend, wakes up uh, at the hospital and she learns that somebody was really hurt and she cannot remember what happened and basically that's the story going back and forth between the hospital and her trying to remember and as she remembers we have the flashbacks of what went on during this weekend. So th this could have been a very good structure. Uh, unfortunately this book didn't do it for me at all. So first, the writing was really not that great, I thought. Pretty average. Um, I mean, you know, like I'm not trying to say... I'm always trying to be a bit careful about what I say because, you know, authors, they do put a lot of work in there. Uh, work so you know like I'm not criticizing but it didn't do it for me this writing I, I thought it was not very um, it was not flowing it was um, there was a lack of uh, fluidity and it was just very short sentences anyway I didn't really enjoy the writing and the story in itself the characters all of them were really not that uh, well built I thought you know, like the construction of the character of the characters was not very well done either so I didn't really feel for them I didn't care especially Nora she just annoyed me like really during the entire book she just annoyed me so um, so it's you know like you don't have to love the characters to love a book I don't think but you know when you really can't connect with them that's when you have a bit of an issue so and the entire story I thought didn't work so I can't really reveal too much without spoiling um, but for me it was it was not really worth it like the acts like the the entire story uh, was built on something that was not strong enough I thought so I didn't understand how you could expect such a reaction for something that was not strong enough as I said so I can't really you know explain in details because I don't want to spoil it for people who haven't uh, read it or are reading it or whatever um, but if you do, um, if you have read it, I'd be um, yeah, curious to hear what you think about it. And um, yeah, so I still finished it, you know, it was kind of, it was not a page turner, but I was, you know, like I can't say that I, that it was not horrible to read. I finished it and I was uh, wondering um, to know what it was, where it was going to go. So, you know, it still kept me interested enough, but the ending was just not good enough for me and I thought, you know, as I said, it was just not, it was just not strong enough, but anyway. So I don't know if I'll read another book by this author or not, because I'm not, you know, I'm not overly satisfied with that one, so I don't think I'll, right now, I don't think I'll give her another go. I may as well just try something else that might suit me a little bit better. So that's it for that one. 
Um, then I wanted to tell you about a book that I'm reading at the moment. I was so excited to start it because I've um, heard um, a few people talk about it and it sounded like something that I could really, really enjoy. So basically uh, it was sold to me and um, what was said was it's a bit like, um, oh, what is the title in English? Uh, by Philip Pullman, his dark, his dark Materials, is that it? Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And so this is one of my favorite series ever. So I really, really enjoy Philip Pullman's uh, writing and I think um, I must have reread it like a hundred times and every time I read it I find something new in it and I think it's just great. So I was really, really <laughs> looking forward to starting that one. And it's a big book. So I'm 200 pages in and I think it's probably 600, 700 pages long. So that's um, Arcadia by Ian Pears. Pears? Pick one up. What can I say? When I'm reading it, I'm enjoying it. When I put it down, I don't want to pick it up again. <laughs> so it's a bit of a shame. Um, I'm a bit lost between everything that's happening in the book. All the different um, dimensions and temporality and I don't really understand where it's going. So now I have a better sense of where it's going, but it's been 200 pages. So for the first, you know, 100 pages I was a bit lost. So it's probably going to get clearer and clearer, but I, I don't really enjoy it as much as I thought I would. So I'm a bit disappointed in that regard and it's such a long book and because I don't really want to pick it up I've been doing other things and I'm not reading as much as I want to. So I'm considering dropping the book, uh, leaving it to the side, giving it back to the library and um, basically yeah, DNF it. So I don't know if it's a wise decision because I'm kind of in the middle of it now so it would sound like a bit of a shame to not finish it. But at the same time, I just feel like I want to read something else. I want to give my um, my attention to something else. So I don't know if it's worth it if I spend another, you know, two weeks trying to finish this one. And then I've got so many other things that I want to read as well. So anyway, I'm going to take a decision very soon. But if you have read it and you think it's amazing and I really need to keep going and it's something that's going to happen, you think, just tell me and I will keep reading it. Otherwise, I probably won't because, as I said, I can't spend another, you know, I've probably been reading that one for a week. So I can't, I can't afford to spend that much time on books and then so many other things that I need to read and I'm not reading. And I've already had a lot of things on the go at the moment. So I can't really, yeah, as I said. So I haven't really talked about what it is about, but it's because it's so complicated to explain. So basically it's kind of different worlds, parallel worlds, um, and all of that is connected with um, um, literature in a way. And so you've got all these different temporalities and what's happening in all of them, and all of that is kind of mixing in together and um, yeah I can't really tell you much more than that I'm not doing a very good job I'm sorry but and so it sounded so interesting like something I could really 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 enjoy but yeah as I said I don't know so I might have to put that one down for a little bit um, then I wanted to tell you about two books that I haven't read but that I have received by one of my friend. She sent them to me and I'm so happy. So um, she was in Montreal for about a month and um, she bought one uh, book uh, translated from French to English um, and another one in French. And so that's two poetry books because she knows I love poetry. So I'm really, really happy. I haven't read them yet. They're very short. So it's going to be, you know, quite easy to read, but I'm really looking forward to having a, a proper look at them. So it's Changing Shores by Nadine Latif and translated by Christine uh, Tipper. And so um, I think it talks about the author um, moving from France and settling to um, Canada. I'm not entirely sure, but that's what I think that's what it is about. And um, yeah, well, it sounds very interesting and a little bit of poetry in someone I don't know, so that's great. And then the second one is poetry as well, but it's in French. 
and it's by Rachel Leclerc, so it's called L'Ours. What a beautiful cover. And also, um, you've got, oh, I don't know how to say that in English, but kind of carvings, is that a good word? Uh, with all the little um, poetry um, poems like that. So I think you've got one for, maybe not all of them, but it's like it's very interesting. So I'm really looking forward. I've only read I think one, and it was very very good. So I'm really looking forward to uh, studying that as well. And yeah, so thank you very much um, to my friend. I don't think she'll be watching the English video, but you never know. And then another book I've just bought. Uh, I went to the bookstore and I was not supposed to buy anything. I was just browsing and having a little look at what was happening. And uh, yeah, I decided to buy one, so that's all right. <laughs> um, and this one was um, quite a big one. I haven't read anything by this author, but I, I have heard uh, many, many good things. And I've watched one of the movie um, that was based on the story of one of his books so and the movie was not too bad so um yeah i think i'll give it a go i haven't yet taken the smallest one to start with but that's right so that's the last book of marcus uh suzak suzak bridge of clay so that this author has also written uh the book thief which is very very uh famous i think so if you have read that one, that's his new release. So yeah, as I said, quite thick. But yeah, it sounds very, very interesting. So it says, uh, the Dunbar boys bring each other up in a house run by their own rules. A family of ramshackle tragedy. Their, mo their mother is dead, their father has fled. They love and fight and learn to reckon with the adult world. It is Clay, the quiet one, who will build a, a bridge for his family, for his past, for his sins. He builds a bridge to transcend humanness, to survive. A miracle and nothing less. Marcus Suzak make, makes his long-awaited return with a profoundly heartfelt and inventive novel about a family held together by stories and a young life caught in the current. A boy in search of greatness as a cure for a painful past. Sounds great, right? It sounds absolutely amazing. So yeah, I had to, I had to buy it. So really, really looking forward to starting that one, but it's not a library book and I've got a few on the go, so I have to finish the library books first and then I will start that one. So as this one is a new release, we'll probably see a little bit more of it on BookTube. So if you have read it or you intend to read it, to read it, I'd be very curious to see what you think about that one. And also if you have read previous uh, work by this author, what you thought as well, because I haven't read anything yet. Then, um, the other thing I wanted to tell you about, um, in one of my previous videos, maybe not the last one, but the one before that, I presented uh, the Oxford Book of Modern Australian Verse. So, here you go. And that's from the library, and um, it's already overdue, so I have to give it back. So, I won't go into too much details, but I thought it might have been interesting to do like a, like a poetry video, if you would be interested in that. I don't know if that's something you would like to watch if a lot of you um, are interested in poetry as well as I am um, and I thought I would discuss maybe a few of the names that I've written down um, of, the po of the poems that I really enjoyed in that one. So I haven't read all of them but I've had a pretty good look and I've written down um, probably yeah, half a dozen of names of um, poets that I really want to like check and see what they're doing in more than three poems because that's the problem like that's the good thing about this type of books like you can see a lot of different poets that you didn't know about but at the same time you only have two or three of their poems so it's quite hard to have a good look at what they're doing um but yeah so i'm basically going to name them and if you have read them don't hesitate to tell me um what you've thought about them or if you want to have any australian poets that i don't know and that i haven't um, coated in this video, feel free to say so because I'm really looking for um, yeah, a little bit more knowledge about Australian literature and poetry um, and yeah, in general anyway. So Vicky Raymond, uh, Judith Wright, who is kind of famous I think, Jennifer Rankin, Adrian Caesar, uh, Laurie Dugan, Mudruru and Chris Wallace Crabb. So that's 
two, four, six, seven others that I really, really want to... Others, you know, like, it's not the only sevens that I enjoy, but these ones were really the ones that jumped to me, and uh, so I'll try and um, get their uh, collection if I can um, in the next two months, let's say, not all of them, but at least get started. So if that's something that you would be interested in, uh, as I said, um, regarding poetry and poetry uh, videos, just let me know, because that's something I'd be, yeah, really happy to do and have a little poet chat with you guys. And so that's all um, for me today, so nothing, oh, I mean, stuff is pretty exciting, but I haven't read it yet, so I can't tell you a lot about it. But yeah, I'm pretty excited about all the books, um, the poetry books that I'm about to read and also um, the release as well um, and yeah um, uh, as usual just let me know what you've been reading lately what you have enjoyed what you do not have enjoyed and if you have read any of these books uh, what you think about them don't hesitate to comment and um, yeah I uh, will release another video soonish if I can but um, it is now November and I'm trying to uh, participate in the NaNoWriMo this month so this is the third day and I have only written 2,000 words which is not very impressive but anyway I'm really um, really dedicated and I hope I will do it I've done it once so if I've done it once I can do it twice so I really need to do it, so I might just put the reading a little bit aside this month and try and focus a little bit more on the writing. So that is um, yeah about it for me today. And if you're participating in NaNoWriMo as well, just don't hesitate to let me know because it's such a nice community as well. And it's nice to hear other people talk about that and, you know, being supportive. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it for me today. So I will see you very, very soon. Bye!